Good morning from a very, very wet <laughs> uh, rest area outside Baylor. Looks like today I'm going to be headed down to Austin, Texas. Uh, earlier this morning I had a nice hour-long conversation with my psychic. So, for those people who believe, you know what I'm talking about. For those who don't, go ahead and laugh all you want. <laughs> um, very interesting, very interesting phone call. Uh, I'm not sure how much or if any I will include into this video, but um, we just might. Uh, right. Well, the plan is I'm going to see one of my friends uh, tonight. We're going to catch up and chat this evening. Uh, so it looks like I'll just go to Alice's place, formerly <laughs> uh, Chris and Alice's place. Um, and I have some packages there. It would be nice to catch up and see her. And also, if she is so kind, I would like to take a shower there. Um, I didn't take a shower outside in the rain at the truck stop. It's not the most incognito place to take a shower. Alright, well I got to town and it looks like right off of the bat I'm gonna get something uh, taken care of that I need to do uh, and want to do, which is uh, a little business discussion about a potential um, online show. So that's where we're gonna go. They're going over to Bone Daddy's Barbecue. So uh, you guys are probably not gonna come along for this one. So uh, I'll check in with you in a little bit. Looks like uh, we got some more help, some more, um, I don't know, called sponsors, kind souls. Uh, Georgina Hale, thank you very much for joining Patreon. And also, someone uh, who actually I met a, a long time ago uh, in Austin, Matt Jackson, uh, thank you for uh, sending some uh, gift over via Venmo. Um, and also we got uh, Brent as well. Um, he joined up on, on Patreon. I'm just blown away that people are finding value in the, in the videos. Um, the people are finding ed education with some of the mechanics, um, how to live on the road, um, some of the build stuff and the earlier ones and little fixes here and there. And, uh, and then, you know, others just uh, find er entertainment in it and um, enjoy the travel part of it. So, um, there, obviously, there's different components that each person likes more or less. Um, and I'm honestly just trying to show you what it is like to basically <laughs> just say, screw it, uh, let's chase some dreams. Let's take a perfectly good school bus, let's turn it into a home, uh, let's travel around in it, let's meet people with it, let's go to different events like tiny house festivals and the RTR and, and you know other things like that, linking up with other YouTube people and go to YouTube events and, and just trying to spread the message of, uh, of yeah, of, of what I'm doing, um, both in practicality and, and uh, as a financial like a financially smart move for other people like me who, um, you know, are just saying adios to the rent, you know? It's, um, I, I was in real estate before this. I, I feel very strongly against paying rent. I feel very strongly for paying a mortgage or a, acquiring uh, an income property, a two unit, three unit, etc. if you can. I know everybody's budgets are different. Um, and, uh, yeah, even like those, uh, uh, like Seven and, um, uh, Tyler from Jamie's Van Build, two property owners who are choosing to use that part of their income to travel full time. 
Um, if you are a travel lover, there are various different ways to make money, and and perhaps this is this is a way to, to free yourself from from some of the constraints of, of just everyday life. So I just want to say thanks again. Um, I am still blown away. I can't believe people are are you know are, are helping out in this sort of way. I, I yeah, I'm just um, I'm very touched and uh, it means a lot. So thank you very much. <laughs> So I've been uh, parked out here for a bit and uh, I've been going through the comments and I gotta say, pretty, uh, pretty amused and entertained by some of the comments. I, I, I realized I don't really give you guys a good explanation of what exactly I'm planning and that's on purpose. I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what I'm doing, exactly what my plans are, you guys are just going to have to be salivating, going crazy, uh, wondering what I'm scheming up. How on earth is Jax going to cash out of this and save money by having a bigger bus? Well, I don't know. Is it going to be a bus? Is it going to be a moped? Is it going to be a van? An equal sized bus? Am I going to put some kind of aerodynamic feature on the front to get 30 miles per gallon? I don't know. You're just going to have to wait and see. But on a serious note, there are several options, and although I was joking about a moped, I would absolutely get a moped before I had to stop the channel, um, because what I tried to do was take all my savings and use that to get myself a career on YouTube traveling, because I love traveling and I love sharing my adventures and my videos. So if I have to adjust something to keep going, well, I'm going to adjust something and keep going because the videos to me are number one most important thing. I don't want to be, I don't, I don't want to have to stop. I'll just have to make adjustments with the way I travel. Who knows? Maybe a hitchhike one day. I don't know. But the most important thing is consistency uh, with the channel and also to, to just keep on, just never give up. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not giving up. Um, and what else do I want to say? Also, um, I do appreciate uh, comments, concerns, questions, even if I don't disagree with them. The one thing I ask is that I treat people with respect. And if you jump in the comments, that's all I ask of you. Just be respectful. You don't have to agree. You can say I don't like the mechanic videos, fixing things up. That's totally okay. I won't block you for that. But if there's some nasty trolls, my finger's on the block button, so just warning. Um, I'm definitely happy, open to talk to every single person about all sorts of things, and I don't want anyone to feel like they can't say something because, oh, I might not like it. It's just a respect factor. Now it's time for a little hike. I have my uh, new toy here. I've already used it multiple times, actually many more times than that previous camera lens, lens which I essentially trade it out for this uh, similar price and um, yeah we're just gonna take a walk, walk around here I forgot the name of this place it is Mayfield House and Natural Nature Preserve um, looks like that's where I am so we'll just kind of walk around a bit and uh, perhaps down to the water and then after that I have a dinner barbecue dinner with uh, a very, very kind friend of mine who I actually met at my previous job and uh, just, yeah, we've just been friends forever. He lives here in Austin and he is in the movie business, so I'm not going to say who it is. He's a rather private person, but um, if you guys have seen pretty popular films, you've seen things he's worked on. I'm not really sure if peacocks attack, but I'm about to find out. Alright, so we got this thing on slow motion. Let's get a little bit closer. And let's see if these guys are friendly.
February 27th. I'm currently in Austin, Texas, as you know, and it is t-shirt and shorts weather. The humidity is pretty balmy. I'm guessing it is 80%, which for me, a Southern California guy, is a little bit too much. Actually, there was a mosquito that got inside the bus today while I was driving and I killed him. I really don't like mosquitoes and I really am not a huge fan of damp, warm, swampy weather, um, which I may have mentioned before. So this hike so far is pretty easy, pretty chill, pretty short. I did almost roll my ankle a little bit ago, but um, yeah, it's a nice piece of nature <laughs> in the middle of a big city. Dinner location, the county line, barbecue, Austin, Texas. Found myself a nice little parking spot right next to the entrance. I guess that will do it for today. Just want to say thank you very much for watching. I might snag a couple uh, barbecue shots inside, but uh, yeah, we'll see you on the road tomorrow.
um, announcements on the polls, you know, show tonight, um, uh, you know, where you, where you go, um, there, there should also be ways that you speak about it, whether it's to go to colleges or to go to high schools or to just show up in a town and say, I'm going to be in that church basement showing videos and, and talking and just look for the crazy bus. And um, so there's another aspect of this that will develop uh, because you are setting yourself up as a, um, a teacher and a leader. And people will say, oh, that guy's in town. And yeah, he's coming to your town. Oh, you got to check him out. So there's another aspect to this that can happen that will seem a bit um, um, not who you are at first, um, but it will gather a new audience. And it might not be a YouTube audience. It might just be an audience who comes in for the night. And, um, you know, 100 people pay 10 bucks and um, you're in the church basement and you're saying, hey, here's what... Um, here's what I do. And um, and you're in this phase now where you're really inheriting wisdom and you're beginning to understand, or you have for a while, but it's getting um, to have more clarity uh, who you are and what you're here for. And um, uh, this wisdom is um, still sifting through you, you know, and, and falling on you like, like multicolored rain, you know, it's, it's, um, uh, it's, it provides life and it provides beauty and it provides insight. And you're beginning to understand this is who I am. This is who I am not. This is who I simply cannot bear to be. This is who I must be. And as a, um, an extension of that, I want you to figure out the, the promise you made at birth or before birth on heaven or whenever your consciousness distilled and you knew who you were. I want you to figure out the promise you made and write it down. Find the exact words. I promised God this. I promised myself this. I promised my higher self. I promised the world. I promised my essence. I promised everybody I love. Um, and I want you to find the exact words in that promise. Um, I promise to honor, um, you know, nature. I promise to um, uh, turn over every leaf, uh, you know, whatever it is, um, and to serve, you know, blank, insert here, you know. I want you to figure out what the ultimate promise you made um, is, what your soul has pledged to... Um, to do and I want you to keep this promise once you figure it out and you might think you've got it in 10 minutes but it might keep editing itself for 10 months um, and it might just start as one phrase but it could turn into a paragraph 